How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Card Brothers. Today I'm here with Valen. It's his second time on the channel, so congratulations, man. Uh, today he got first at our locals at Kitchen Table Games. Uh, shout out to all these guys for showing up. Um, it was a really nice event. Um, and he's gonna run through his deck list playing cash uh, with a little spice. So uh, let's check it out. Yeah, everyone's favorite boring ass cash. I got three unicorn, three fender. I only go two arise. You don't need three, it's a break. One scare claw. One ogre. I'm the ogre over any of the other names, just because I think that uh, you don't really need any of the other extenders. You just want the trap super bad. For sure. um, then I run three ass because there's a lot of branded, and three nib because it's the best card in the format. Nib's broken. It's broken. Did you resolve it at all today? Uh, like four times. Uh, and it, people think it's hard to out the token, the, the, your own monster, like the clear board. It's not. You just make Dawn or go enter battle and run into your own token. You just made it just doesn't matter the deck just needs to stick unicorn so as long as you're going second you stick unicorn you're gonna do just fine um then three field spell an honorary fourth field spell yep and then you got three birth this card is too good not to run three of you have to do it it's just so good you want to see it in your hand it sucks when you see more than one but you know you gotta see it two teosis this card does not good to see in your hand really it's okay on like your first turn to have extension but for the most part it's like on the brick side with with arise it's just not there. really wow three book of moons uh you really like the interruption especially in the mirror um it's just good right now i just take a general for breaking boards i only go two lance um i did miss the third today but i run a ton of back row hit in the side so i kind of only went with two and i just needed the extra space because i wanted to keep it 40. Nice. Three Prosby, because you have to. It's the best consistency card. Yes. Um, and then the Goo is Three Dark Hole. This card is like the most over the format card in the format for this deck. You always want your board clear, so if you nib and then Dark Hole, it's like a game. It's, it's, it's That's over. crazy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just so good. And there's a lot of decks that try to pass you monsters. Like, Brandon will gimmick puppet you, or like, you know, Raw Lock. And if you clear the board from that, you can still make like a full cash board. It's just not gonna, like, well, not a full, you can't special, but you can still make stuff. Like, base. Well, actually, no, you can't. Didn't happen today, but you actually can't. I'm wrong. But it did come up where I did to use it. And then I run both traps. This is just for extension, and this is for recursion. This makes the deck super resilient. You just set it, flip it. And That's preparation? Yeah, it's prep. Prep's broken. Yeah, everything's taken. I, people who aren't on it, I think should get on it. I think it's really good. It's broken. I run two infirm over Chalice or anything else. The reason why is because I have Cross Out on my side, which is a second, but I just feel like everyone still can run infirm, so Cross Out is still... Gives me an extra Cross the Target yeah. and some Interrupts. Nice, man. Yeah. So extra real quick. The standard ratio, two and two. You don't need more. You don't want less. I run one big eye. I think two big eye... Would be good. I think the people should go too big on It's a good card. One Draco sack because I figured at some point I might want to ban it, like send itself to the graveyard to pop a skill drain because there's so many Labyrinth players running around. Never came up though, so maybe make this a second big guy. Um, but, you know, maybe it will eventually. Time card, it's terrible, but you have to run it. Two Zeus because it's good in all the trap decks and in the mirror. Um, it, not great in the branded, it's okay. But, you know, I made it a lot today. So Zeus really, is broken. Yeah. yeah, it's too good. I got one Mind Hacker. This is the other card I think having two of could be good. In the grind game, if you can make this a second time and then banish, you are like really likely to deck them out. So I just think that it's it's might be worth it to run two in the grind game. And then uh, these are all of my Prosby targets. Um, I always pitch these off Prosby. The Rua underneath gets the draw and it just gives you a pop underneath and this makes it unaffected. I, I just, you have enough room in the extra, I think that you should run all three. If you were going to cut one of these for like an extra Diabolus or something like that, I would cut the Guru. I think it's the worst. Trap decks, this goes crazy again. Like oh, it's to, insane. Yeah, 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 it pops a card. You don't need the draw, so, um, you know, that's that. And then the one Donner and the one Baron are kind of like your flex things that you will make. This helps you out the nip token, helps you out stuff that they pass you. just have you. to have a normal summon with it, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, you can also go like a, like... Um, you can go birth, which has happened a lot. Like you have birth on field, you end up having your nib token because it's like a long game, and then all the decks go so crazy on playing like even past it. Like they all one card starter decks really for the most part. So like there's been a lot of times where the game gets simplified. I still nib, and then I have the token. I have birth on field. I special back, link off into Donner, and then could, like continue to extend from there. Nice. Came yeah. up quite a bit. I think this card's really worth running. And then Baron, this is the anti-brick technology. If you uh, special cast your monster and the normal summon, you make Baron. 
is nice. pretty much it. Still also pretty good to simplify board state if that's what it comes down to. Um, I pitch enough Frosty all the time though because it's not not necessary. And then the side, um, the Goo Man, Goo Lady, I guess, Sukari Kara. Cards insane. Uh, yeah, it's really, really It good. overperforms. Yeah, from what I, I, I won a lot of games today when they had one monster and I just made Curry Kara and just swung for 45 and special back and then they're basically they're just like in a big situation. The cash mirror, it's insanely good. Even if they go for the all lockout play, this card still outs that. So it's 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 nuts. Because um, they, they link your they lock out your spells and traps and then they go for a monster and then you have one chance to play a card and then do it. So this is your chance to do that. So I think it's really good. Um, D shifter because there's too many graveyard decks still around yep. and you really want it. I've cited it in a lot. Like, Shifter's like, still broken. It's still yeah. broken. I just don't think it's mainable because it's so bad into the mirror and it's like bad in all the trap decks. So, uh, trap hate. Uh, that's pretty much the only reason I really It's like I'm trying to run three feather duster but I can't. So, I run these. Just so many trap decks. Trap tricks and uh, libraries and stuff. Three cross out uh, and then I run this as a kind of a cross out target. Um, I did use this a couple times today, but I just run cross out because you can do the link. You don't lose it a beer if you have cross out in your hand. So I think it's still worth running. And again, I'm like really excited for the mirror. Uh, so I just think it's good in the mirror. For sure. Like if you want to go second, I, this deck wants to go second in the mirror, in my opinion, because you can make, when the Shangri-La, when their Shangri-La activates, you can still special. So you can like special a guy. They're going to try to interact with it anyway. You can still use this on their turn and then make your own arise on your own turn. I just think it's good. So um, I use this as a target too to help not lose no one first. I think it's good. And then additional flex spot. I sometimes side out the dark holes for these in the trap decks. And then sometimes I leave both in if it's like branded or something that like does build the board like D Link or something like that. I just think it's good. Yeah. And that's man. it. Awesome. Any shout outs? Hey, yeah, thank you to the store. And uh I appreciate it. Sorry about the boring list, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, man. Yeah. See you guys in the next video.